got some new paints in today. Woohoo! So let's get you called up on the tablet here. So I can read what y'all are saying without straining my eyesight over there. New color shifting paint. Alright, here we go. Make sure I'm muted. Good, good, good. Alright, bam. So, what we got? Got some new Turbo Dork colors. I've already got my black on here. I'll show you what I've done already. So we've got um, Ground is Lava. We got that the other day. Today we got Afterburner. Afterburner. Sort of a, I don't know. We got what I'm looking forward to is Radium. Radium. And we got Electrum. Electrum. So that's sort of a green into a black almost. Uh -huh. But, so what I've done, I've already put my black base on here, except for the belly. The belly I left clear. So we're going to sort of have a fade to it. Then I wanted a sort of a scale look on it. So what I did is that I took some, uh, what in the world? Okay. Wow, that's scary. Scary, scary, scary. Boy. The, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> My clamp. Um, unclamped. So we're going to put that there again. All right, so that was exciting. It's an exciting moment in time. An exciting moment in time. Let's see if I get a good focus. I do. We haven't broken the camera. Very good. I have extra cameras. So, what I did is taken some, uh, you know, some screen over it, tied it down on top of the black, and we're going to paint over that, and that will create a pattern of scales on these. So, now the neat thing too is I finally got some business cards. And uh, so I had these packages. See these little packages? Take a business card, and slide it in, and voila, you've got retail packaging. Kind of cool, huh? And the person that buys it gets one of my business cards. All in one. It's like a free gift. So, oh my goodness, let's see what we got here. All right, you guys see the chat? So, what I want to do. Oh, I really want to try this radium first. So, I'm going to try the radium first. And I love these, I love small baits, as you guys know, so. Okay. Let's get a little bit of a reducer in here. This paint is actually pretty thin. No, it isn't. But it's pretty thick. I have to put add a little bit more reducer in there. And swirl it around. So. Now, with um, color shifting paints, you put them on layers. So, I'm going to just sort of put it on there, layer it, layer it, layer it. And, and Turbo Dork, this stuff, I mean, this is probably the best color shifting paint money can buy. It's not cheap at all. Now I've got it confused with uh, Lower Bill's paint. That's real thin. 
this stuff goes a long way. Want sort of a, I don't know, creamy, but you know what I mean, like a, like a unwhipped cream type of consistency to it. Looks pretty good. Let's see how it blows. All right, so let's uh, grab a couple of these. Grab a couple of these too. So we're going to get these. So. Oh, that looks good. I love that green. because it'll make it uh... so now you need to get a little bit of a dry on it and we'll do another coat and the chair is neat looking and with the uh with the uh, black in between, you know, the scales, it gives it a nice contrast, too, and a nice texture on it. One thing about uh, doing uh, color shifting paints, too, because it is layered a lot, um, you, uh, they don't dry as fast as just regular opaques. So this takes a little bit of patience to do this. So. You just gotta be patient. And then when we get it dry, we'll remove the masks. <coughs> and we're gonna do a lot, of, you know, some different color touch-ups around it. Again, like I said, the belly, we're going to paint a uh, uh, sort of a clear on, on the bottom. Transparent, I should say. And I just gotta wait. So I'm going on vacation here pretty soon, which is going to be exciting. First, for the first week of January, we're going to Newport. Um, it's a coastal town on the Oregon coast, sort of mid, halfway up. <coughs> Do a little fishing. A lot of, I've never seen the Oregon coast, so. It's got a lighthouse, got something called the Devil's Bowl. And it's got all sorts of stuff, you know, an aquarium, a little zoo. Um, just stuff. It's a big marina, you know. Estuary, I should say. It's an estuary. You don't want to pull the uh, screen off before it's dry. You really don't. I've done that plenty of times and you just, well, you regret it because you a perfectly good pattern is completely smeared and white. So, you do like this color. You know, it's interesting. So interesting. You know, so it looks like a lavender inside the bottle, but it's not lavender at all. When you put, you put it over a black base, it's just really, really not lavender at all. It's green. Uh, I'm growing a beard, so I'm going to be having to look scruffy for a couple weeks. 
<laughs> takes about two weeks for my beard to grow. It's only been four days, so. Be good when I'm out on the ice. of myself. I really have never, I haven't grown a beer since the 80s. So this will be interesting. My beard was brown back then. Now it's gray. I want you to check out the link below for my new book. I showed it to a bunch of people at the gym today. They all liked it, so it was pretty fun. They played some racquetball today. Okay, this should be good, at least for a second coat. So now we're going to put the second coat on here. comfortable enough, we'll remove the fabric off of it. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to clean this up. Let's see Just a hair dryer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, here. There, it's here. That Transitional color. So, very cool. Like I said, I always like using my transparent yellow. It always adds a lot of brightness to the bay. So, we'll just shake that up while we dry these. Yellow looks really good against this green 
uh, power shift too, so. You know, something else that is pretty cool, too. My new book is printed here in Oregon at Trout, in Trout Hill. How cool is that? It's written. It's about Oregon. It's written in Oregon, about Oregon, and, and it's printed in Oregon. I mean, I should have every Oregonian behind my book that likes fishing. Or know somebody who likes fishing. I mean, you know, you just don't get... The USA made, you get locally made. That's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. You may not, especially not from the way. But, you know, it's not very far away that they print it. I did not know that until I got my copies. This one bait has no texture on it. So it's really a smooth surface. Oh no, I didn't do it. Did I do a smooth surface one? No, they're over there. Oh, I did. I did two smooth surface ones, so you gotta be very careful on those. really want that texture on it. You know, basically you just take, um, you just cut, you buy this stuff. And then there's your scales right there. I mean, on these little baits. You just cut it, and then you clamp it on it. And you do what I'm doing here. And it creates a scale feature to it. Really cool. Alright, so, we're going to do the textured ones first. Mm 
then we just peel this off. And voila. Now, this particular body, you can see it better on this one, has absolutely no relief to it. So this was a perfectly smooth body, and it actually has a good relief to it now. It's really nice. That, that body <coughs> is really hard to paint, I'm going to tell you that, because it's perfectly smooth. I always like to get paints with some some relief to it, give it some realism. Fingers in there, pull it off. See the one, the part where it was a little farther from it, not as good, but the rest of it is really beautiful. So now, so very nice. It turned out really, really good. So, all right. So, like I said, on the bottom, I, I didn't, I didn't prime it. I, you know, um, put a base coat on the bottom because I wanted it more transparent. And we're going to use the transparent yellow on the bottom of these because I really love transparent yellow. It's just my number one color besides white and black. Gorgeous, especially in the water. It's really good in the water. It looks good. It's bright. It's almost like a white, but whiter than, or brighter than a white. I don't need that much. So, and it's transparent, so it's rather thin. A lot thinner than the uh, color we just painted. I'm going to take the bottom of these guys and we're just going to brighten it up. And like I said, it's going to be transparent so you can see inside the bait. Man, that's beautiful. It really is. Every time I paint a bait, right? You know what would really look good against this uh, transitional green is, ma is magenta. <laughs> really would. It'd look really good. Magenta on the green is a really good, really good uh, contrast. Uh, <coughs> things expensive so you save as much as you can. No the way on here. It must be the day. Time of day. It's the time of day. Everybody's at work. Everybody's at work. drops in here. But because it is a pearl, it is rather thick. It's got metallic flakes in it. Okay. 
supposed to be to be. Rosiness. A little bit of rosiness. So I'm going to uh, get It needs something else. It really is a beautiful color shift to it. That yellow to green, and then with the yellow belly, transparent yellow belly, it looks really good. Tint it just down the side of this one. Much better. That looks much better. I'm going to do that with this one too. Cut it off, 
and then you attach it to your uh, bait with some little itty bitty baby camp clamps. And uh, so that's what we did now. What I did do on these is that I did not prime any of the bottom so I can create uh, sort of a, a transparent color on its belly. So now we get to pick a different color. We did radium. Um, Afterburner looks pretty cool. Sort of a sort of a burnt orange to green. So we already got a green, so we're gonna go ground is lava. That's what we're doing. Ground is lava. This is sort of a gold to a red. Sort of a I don't know, that red, sort of a burnt red, what do you call that? So, we'll do that one. This way we have very different looking baits. So, shake that up. This stuff is really, 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 really thick. So, we have to thin it out quite a bit with a uh, reducer. I use uh, this uh, Createx 4011. Um, reducer to reduce my paints. You could use just plain water. But reducer does a little bit better for adhesion. So uh, we're just going to uh, get these. Alright, so I shook them up earlier. They do have a little mixing ball inside these tiny little, you know, the, this is just a little itty bitty thing. So. Just to give you an idea, this is a Createx Wicked color, which is really, really, really good color. Uh, cost the same as this. So you can tell the big difference in price between these two. Big difference in price. So I really like the uh, the way the the uh, fabric has created a relief to this almost. Because it, you know, it it, it create you got a difference in elevation in the um, it's hard you can't really see it, but uh, the elevation between the body and the, the layers of paint. So it actually has a really neat feel to it. Um, looks good. So I'm gonna put this on there. Hey, Timmy. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. All of you. So I'm growing a beard. Let's see. A couple of weeks I'll have my beard. It takes about two weeks. So I've been growing this for four days. Now, so that be the Italian gene in me or something. I don't know. But it'll be nice for the winter. You know, when we're ice fishing. Uh, I'll be doing a live on a pier. Over, you know, like I said, I'm going to uh, be going to uh, Newport. I've never seen the Oregon coast. Taking my wife there, and we're going to check out this Newport, Oregon. Do a little fishing. Do pier fishing. Yeah, I don't want to pay hundred bucks to go on a boat. Plus, we're in a hotel. Actually, it's a a burbo, but. It doesn't have a full kitchen, so it's like, you don't want to catch a lot of fish. I'll just catch the fish and put it back, you know, toss them back. So now we're just getting, that looks actually pretty good, not bad, for my first attempt with a reducer. You yeah, know, it looks totally different here than it will on um, the black. Totally different. Okay. All right, let's let's put these, let's put it on these things. Okay. First, that's just the first layer. First coat. Second. So 
now we get these. Put these in front of the drawer. I'm going to hang these up. For a little, you know, for a little while until I... They're dry enough for me to handle and put eyes on them. So I'm going to take that. Put that on there. And voila. And that. Sort of that, that yellow belly clear. It got a little bit of magenta on the side and the face, and then that green color shift on that. Looks really, really, really cool. Really cool. It'll catch fish. It will catch fish. That's really the, the, why we, you know, that's why we throw a bait. Put a fish on it. I wonder if any of these will work in the ocean. <laughs> Probably just throw some squid on it. <laughs> on a hook. Toss it out there. I don't know. I would love to catch an ocean fish like a black bass. Uh, which is a rock cod, basically. So, and it looks good. That uh, clear body. There are they. Um, black body. So. so, these look really, really different. Um, this color shift. So, I mean, look at that. So, these are... Yeah. What color? Maroon? Almost a maroon. Um, so, these look... I mean, very, very different paint from the green we just um, put. So we're going to put more coats on this. So very cool. And it's uh, really an interesting color. It's almost a, a copper. That's what it is. It's a copper look. Uh, that's what I would call it. Oh, we need more paint. Um, it's a copper look. Which is cool. Probably catch a lot of trout with this one. Probably catch a lot of trout with this color. <coughs> All right. take this screen off until it's pretty dry. Or else you just smear it. You don't want to smear it. Don't want no smearing. It's like that one didn't come out very good. That'll be mine. Too thick on that. We'll see. We'll see. We can take. We can fix it. You can always fix it, especially when you're thinking. Always gonna fix it. It's interesting that this paint, this particular color shift, is thinner than the other color shift. So it'll be interesting to see how the the shifting works on this. It really stands out after you put the clear coat on it. Um, when you put the, uh, the epoxy on it. I'll just uh, do this by hand a bit. So very cool. Do, do, do. 
Check out my new book. Uh, I, I, I showed earlier, these are the, the retail packaging and I got my business cards in. So basically it just slides on the back so you got a card with the package with this. That's so kind of a nifty little package. Um, it's a twofer. You get a business card and you get my bait. That's what you get. Now my baits are for sale by e you know email, just email me or go to Lake of the Woods. Uh, you know these baits right here I made with painting for the spring, so uh, these are spring baits. Spring, spring. Lake's freezing up right now. Uh, the lake just above Lake of the Woods is three and a half inches of ice, so it's almost safe to walk on. A couple guys are skinny guys are out there. Fat guys don't get on three and a half inches of ice. Um, and then, uh, so I don't know what the, uh, the the measurement is over at Lake of the Woods, but there's only a seven mile difference and about a 200, 200 foot elevation difference between those two lakes. So. Probably about two inches, I guess. But we need some more cold weather. Really freeze it up. No rain. Rain is bad. Just need snow up there. You really don't need a lot of snow. The snow is an insulator, so you really don't want snow while it's freezing. On new ice, you just want sub zero, no wind, and let it freeze. Let God do his thing and just make it ice. So, you can't take this, this fabric off until it's very dry. Or else, you, do, you know, again, it just smears it. You don't want to do that. So, you just want to. Be patient, there's really no rush in this part of it. I think I'll go with a, a pearl white belly on these. I think that'll look really good on that. Uh, so we'll paint the, uh, the the belly white. And then we'll probably put you know a little hand painting with a brush, some red, sort of sort of a bleeding um, look on, on the side of these. It really is a neat copper color. It really is. So it, it goes from green to copper. You know, is what it, so this will have a color shift to a green on this color that we just put on it. Just got to be patient. Got to be patient. So this place we've got over in Newport is right on the right on the water. So I can just walk outside and drop a line in the water. How cool is that? Walk outside and put a drop line in the water. There's a tour boat right there that goes in and out, but I'm sure they go out for three or four hours. They won't bother me. I won't bother them. A lot of a lot of public piers and stuff, so gotta get a fishing license for next year. Right, let's try one. It's always scary when you take the, uh, the fabric off of it and you your stencil. So, it's a daisy thing. 
parts of the paint as it dries. It sort of makes it all stick together too. So, I'll take it off in one straight swipe. There we go. All right. It's more of a magenta to copper. Yeah. Well, very cool. And then the belly, you see I didn't put any primer down there. I want, I want that transparent of another color, so. Very cool. I like that. That is a really cool looking color. It's a cool color. Oh, I'm glad I picked it. This one. Get my little clamps off, my spring clamps. Get those a carver freight for a couple bucks. And ooh, there we go. And another good peel on it. Very good. Alright. Looks good. It's gonna catch fish. Say that every time. I'm usually right. The bait is made by terrible at fishing though. Just FYI. But my baits are very good at catching fish. It's like I you know, you know what patterns and what colors work in your water. Um, nice. Nice peel. And so the beauty about painting your own baits is that you get, uh, well, you get baits that work instead of buying a bait and hoping it works. Or it's close enough, you know. This one I'm a little worried about. I didn't save this one for last. I'm a little worried about this one. I worked on the drawing of this one the most, so I was worried. Alright, here comes the peel. There we go, there's the peel. Oh, right. uh, see now this is a perfectly smooth body bike. But look at it. Now look at the relief on that. That is just that's what that, that fabric does. It's so good. That is as good as it gets, and I'm worried about that one. That's as good as it gets. So, all right, so, we're going to take a pearl, a white, and we're going to uh, work the bottom of these baits with the pearl white. I think it'll look good. <laughs> I'm painting it. I can just I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Did yellow on these babies. Hey. Thank you, Jeff. What you want? That's my black and white. That's key. Hi, babe. Come on in. Come on in. Look at here. Well, come on. You can just sit there. You can stand there. Trash bag. It's my, my, it's my old lady cat. She's awesome. She, I uh, had to, uh, I had to train her. Uh, tame her, I should say. I had to tame her. She was uh, very difficult. She was a feral cat. And, uh, Alright, there she is. You don't usually get to see Evie. But there's Evie. Come here. She's not much of a lap cat. <laughs> but she uh she's my cat. <laughs> That's Evie. You guys have seen Bella. But this is Evie. We named her Eve because that's where the litter was uh, actually living uh, in the eaves of my store. And we wanted, there was a whole litter of 
feral kittens. And so me and other customers, we kind of divided up the kittens. And uh, and then we had we all had a cat. It was really nice. Really nice of my customer. I had the best customers. Best customers in the whole world. All right, we don't need much. Just a little bit. Because we're just doing the bellies. Just doing the bellies. Belly paint. Belly paint. about red. You could go with a, a pearl red for the... Uh, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to look really good. This one, I forgot the name of this one. It's worn off with me shaking it all the time. It's also a color shift. This is made by Wicked. It's like something Mustang or something. You can, you can do that. Pretty cool on the head. epoxy on it and just oh, night and day. Night and day. And that looks done. Those are done. Thumbs up, guys. Anybody that's still on, appreciate the thumbs up. I don't know what that exactly that does, but I know it does something. It's not like I make money on YouTube. I just 
honored to share with you guys. Some of this up. And we're just going to do the heads, the front of these with this. So we got 12 hanging up that needs eyes. I got 12 over here ready for clear coat. So we're doing, I need to do more of these little guys. So these little guys. I need to do more of these little guys right here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. But I need to do more of these. I got lots of them. I'm 
really good for ice fishing too. So yeah, I'll put a little spinner on the back, on hook, just really nice. And just jig it down there under the ice. And then these right here are spring baits. Uh, you know, when, when I have open water again. So really fun. So thanks for dropping in. Thanks for watching me paint these. These are some new colors. Uh, that is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And my kitty cat, Evie, says hi and thank you very much. Do a little Maddie take. What?